Hello and welcome to mprugs.com. My name is Mike Panna. I'm the owner of the website and well, we have been for over 20 years um, selling Persian rugs, offering our per, uh, fine Persian rugs as well as information through our website. I think we're one of the first and original online rug dealers on the web. Like I said, we started our website in 1999 and in this video, I like to talk to you about something that we get a lot of questions and inquiries about, and that is the Nain Persian rugs that you see. But unlike a lot of rug dealers, um, I grew up in the Persian rug business. Um, we are by profession wholesalers. I'm actually the first person in my family who decided to start a little hobby, a little adventure 20 years ago. People were laughing at me. And being that um, I was born and raised in Germany, even though my family is originally from Iran, a lot of that German unfortunately seeped into my brain. And I say unfortunately because especially, a uh, perfect example right here with the naive Persian rugs, um, there is a lot of misinformation and I always say unfortunately because if you know anyone who is German or if you are from Germany you know they are straight to the point and I love the Persian rugs but I do not care for the BS that goes along with it so in this video I'm gonna do something very different I'm going to give you actual facts and information that you can not only verify for yourself, but that you can use so that you do not get ripped off, so that you know exactly how to measure the quality of rugs. And most importantly, when it comes to the Nain rugs, these are very fine pieces. They come in so many different uh, quality ranges that it's sometimes virtually impossible for you as a novice as a beginner to know the difference between a thousand dollar rug and the five thousand dollar rug that I'm sitting on so these are all nine rugs but I'm going to literally show you how to tell the difference between the different grades and then I'm going to show you exactly how you can determine this for yourself. Again, being that we're wholesalers, our main profession is that we sell rugs to the retailers. And unfortunately, as everyone knows, the Persian rug industry is unfortunately as respectable and as trustworthy as a used car business. And I'm being that, well, I guess I'm a rug dealer, um, I'm pleading guilty to the fact that, yes, in our business, it seems to be that bogus claims seems to be the norm. So if you like Nain Persian rugs, if you want to get information about them, and you want to learn about the Habibian family, if you want to learn and actually see an actual Habibian rug, and you want to learn about about how you can literally see the quality, how you can measure the quality, and how you can determine whether a Nain rug is actually what they are pretending it to be, or whether the dealer, whether the uh, seller is giving you actual information that is factual. So, um, it's going to be about 15, 20 minute video in total. I'm going to try to keep it as short as I can. There's a lot of information I want to give you, but I want to do it. I want to take my time and do it. So um, just want to briefly introduce myself. So to get started, I'm going to show you a couple of different types of Nain rugs, and then I will take it from there and show you how you can actually um, learn to separate them in terms of quality and value and then we'll talk about the Habibian name, the signatures and everything that is associated with Habibian Nain rugs. 
So I'm going to swing around. I'm going to actually get behind the camera. So I'll see you again here in just a second. Here we have several Nain rugs. And just to give you a very basic introduction, these are all Nain rugs of the same quality. And I did this on purpose. What you see here is a very standard Nain rugs, and they're all roughly the same size. And again, I did this on purpose to show you. Here we have one without a medallion. The colors, very standard. Um, here we have one with a medallion, and here we have a light-colored one. Um, as is common in Nain rugs, and it's actually easier for me to show it to you with a darker piece. It is perfectly normal for Nain rugs to have silk added to the wool, and then you have the light colors. Um, and we're going to talk about the colors. Um, this, these are very traditional Persian rugs. So these are very common designs that you would expect to see. Now, what is very, very important is the quality. These rugs right here are known as Nohla Nain rugs. And the word no, which is in Iranian and Farsi, it means nine. What it refers to is the number of threads that make up one single fringe. If you were to literally take the fringe apart, you will find that this, uh, this fringe has nine threads. That is how Nain rugs are classified. This is also the easiest way for you to know whether the dealer, when someone is offering you a rug, whether they are telling you the truth or whether they are doing what unfortunately many of them will do and exaggerate the quality. Nine rugs, the lower the number, the finer it is, as I will explain it to you. But just to give you an example, here we have three pieces. All three you will see in my website. There is about a thousand dollar difference between the qualities, even though they are all the same no law, they are all the same nine law quality. This piece right here is cheaper than this one because the quality, the workmanship also becomes a factor. You will notice the medallion is not as detailed. It is not as fine as it is in this one. So you, even though they are both the same quality, there is a difference in workmanship. Now, these are the Nohla pieces. The next one is Shishla. Shishla, which is Persian and Farsi for six law, means there's only six threads per French. And this is where the high-end pieces come in. The difference is you got a $1,000 rug, you got a $3,000 rug. You have a rug that has about 225 knots per square inch. You have a rug that has somewhere around typically four to 500 knots per square inch. These are very, very fine pieces. But again, the easiest way for you to tell the difference on the Nain rugs, fringes, look at the threads. And this is a six law. It should have six threads that make up one fringe. In the rare case, and rare meaning, I'm just going to swing the camera around. This is our wholesale business. And we actually have several floors, but this is where we keep our high-end pieces. What you're about to see is one of only two Chahalla. Even though we specialize in 
Nain rugs, in the pure silk gom rugs, the tabris rugs. Chahala, which means forla, means one fringe is made up of four threads, and you can see how fine they are. This is the difference between a rug that has seven to eight hundred knots per square inch versus five hundred versus about 250 somewhere in, a, in the neighborhood of um, that so you have a standard good quality nine rug and they will last you many years versus a very fine nine rug versus an over-the-top amazing this is like a masterpiece it's incredible and in another video that I'm going to be taking shortly, I'm going to introduce you to an actual Habibian rug, but I wanted you to actually see this. So when you look at Nain Persian rugs, always look at the back of the rug, look at the knot count, which I'm going to explain to you in a second. Look at the fringes. Unfortunately, a lot of the rug dealers will exaggerate their knot count, they will exaggerate the quality, and they will do everything they can to make the rugs more than they are. And there is no need for them. These are handmade, these are very fine pieces. In the cases of the Shishla, which is right here, these are the most common high-end pieces that you'll find. These are made with what is known as cork wool, the lamb wool. And then you have silk added. So you have typically on Nain rugs, on the high end, you have lamb wool with silk highlights on a cotton foundation. The cotton foundation is pretty standard even on the very fine, very high end Nain rugs. On the lower grade, and this is the lowest grade that we sell. There's actually an even lower grade, which is the 12th law, which is the Kashmir grade Nain rugs. These are very inexpensive. And, um, and those are also rugs that are oftentimes advertised as being no law pieces. And this is something where you come in, you put a ruler on the back or you take a picture Typically, genuine nine law have about 200 knots per square inch. And again, in the next video segment, I'm going to show you literally how you can count the knots per. I'll uh, teach you how to do it. It's very simple. But on the lower grade, on the nine law and higher, which is actually means lower quality, uh, these are typically standard wool, and then they have a little bit of silk. But it's very, um, the sick highlights are very small. Uh, typically, um, it's in the higher end pieces that the silk really becomes a factor. So um, here you have a brief introduction. Now in the next video segment, I'm gonna talk to you about the super fine Nain rugs. I'm also gonna teach you how to count the knots per square inch. But I figured I'm going to start out here. So I'm going to see you again here in just a second. And then we're also going to talk about the Habibian signature. And while they may not, uh, they look very similar to the Shishla pieces, when you flip them around and you look at the knots, this is where you notice the difference. The Shishla pieces about 500 knots per square inch, four to 500. Chahala can have seven to 800. The no law piece, the blue one that I showed you earlier, has about 250. So 250, 400, and then you're looking at a Chahala that has around 700. Now, as if things don't get crazy enough, here we have an actual Habibian Nain Persian rug. 
This one is also a shishla. It has roughly, it has six threads to a yarn, which is why it's called a shishla. But unlike the other shishla that I showed you earlier, this one has about 900 knots per square inch. So yes, you can have a shishla. With 900 knots per square inch, you can have the same shishla with 400 knots per square inch. What makes the difference is the workmanship. The wool, the amount of silk that is used, and the sheer quality. This is what separates the Nain rugs from a lot of other types of Persian rugs. For example, and I'm just going to swing this over, this right here is a Tabriz rug. It has about 350 knots per square inch. This is a 50 rug. If you look at every single 50 rug Tabriz rug, whether it is a piece like this, whether it is right here, or whether it is, there's another one right there, they're all the same quality. They all have the same knots, roughly. But with the Nain rugs, because the quality is not based on knot count like it is on the Tabriz rugs. 50 rudge means one rudge, which is roughly 7 centimeters. It has right about 50 knots per 7 centimeters. This is, a, this is how we classify the quality in Tabriz rugs. Nain rugs, on the other hand, we only care about how many threads there are in one French. So you may have a very fine piece. And like I said, this is an actual Habibian. This is pretty much as good as it gets. This is, well, like I said, it's something that many people have talked about, have emailed me about. But this is the difference between a master weaver, and in the case of the Habibian rugs, it's about as famous as it gets when it comes to Persian rugs. And the standard high-end pieces. And basically, to give you an idea, the best way for me to explain it, this is a very nice Mercedes. This is a souped-up AMG Mercedes. So both of them very luxurious, very fine. But there is a huge difference between a $50,000 Mercedes and, well, the top of the line. And this is what you have right here. Now, the reason that I mentioned to you earlier in the video about the Habibian um, for those of you who may, who are into Persian rugs, you may have heard his name. Habibian is one of the most famous weavers um, in Iran, and he became synonymous in the 1950s and 60s with high-end Nain Persian rugs. He basically pioneered them. And forgive me here, I am doing this on purpose here. I am not shaking the video just to get you all dizzy, but I want to show you something. Um, as is normal with most Nain rugs, and this is where my German comes out. The poor man, Mr. Habibian, died in the mid-90s. So, and he pretty much stopped weaving himself in the late 70s and 80s. Um, he then trained others who followed in his footsteps. But his name is so famous that when it comes to the high-end Nain rugs, and I have the Shishla, I have the Sixla, underneath it is a red, the Forla, and then here is the actual Habibian. What do they all have in common? They all have the Habibian signature woven into the rook. Now, 
I'm about to show you something that you may have never seen before. This is an actual, real Habibian. So this signature, unlike all the others that you may have seen before, is actual, real. These right here are not real. These were woven into the rugs oftentimes after the rugs were completed. And the only reason that I know that these are not real and that that one is, is because my family purchased that piece. So we know when we went to the Habibian workshop in Nain, yes, it is now run by the extended family. The grandson took it over. And we are here in this case, for example, you have Mahmoud Reza Habibian. It says Habibian, uh, Iran, Nain, Habibian. And then here it says Mahmoud Reza. This is one of the relatives. They have pretty much um, taken over the business. Grandpa passed it on to his grandson. Grand and then it just basically expanded from there to the family. So if you are looking at buying a Nain rug and you are looking at someone, you're looking at a rug, a Nain rug like these that have the signatures, please understand that you are looking at a gorgeous, high quality Nain rug, but you are not buying a Habibian. This is something that I get emails about all the time. People ask me and they say, well, Mike, um, we bought this rug. We were told that it's a Habibian. As you can see, it has a signature. Well, just because a rug has a signature doesn't mean that it's authentic. Any good weaver can add a signature to a rug. So as you can see in my website, for example, if you go to mprugs.com, you look at my Nain section, you can see that I have a whole lot of high-end Nain rugs. I do not sell them as genuine Habibians. And again, this piece right here is an exception. I show them to you only to show you what an actual Nain looks like. Most of you have never seen one in person, and this is why, for example, you notice in the Habibian Nain rugs, obviously with the rugs like these, you have this type of quality and design. It's just over the top. But I just wanted you to see it so that you can actually notice not only what to look for, but the biggest thing I want you to take away from this is please, unless somebody can prove to you that a rug is an actual Habibian, go under the assumption that it is not. Most high quality Nain rugs have the Habibian signature because the weavers know that the dealers, unfortunately, there are many of them out there, will then turn around and claim that these are the real thing when they're not. So please don't fall for it. These are very, very fine rugs, and they are absolutely gorgeous. My clients and I, we love them, but just because they're high-end pieces, it does not mean that they have to be um, I, I, I just don't care when people try to lie about them or exaggerate. And so I just wanted you to know, this is one of the most commented and asked about signatures on Persian rugs. And just again, I'm just going to briefly show you. Here you have what a real Habibian signature looks like. I've only seen two of those and I'm 52 years old. I just want you to know this. This is a very, very rare find. So even for someone who is in the Persian rug business, 
This is an extreme rare and special moment for me. So there you have it. I hope this video is of help to you. Um, if you have any questions about it, um, feel free to leave me the comments. Subscribe as I will be adding more videos to my YouTube channel. You can also get a lot more information about Persian rugs in my website at mprugs.com. And I wish you and your family the very best and look forward to be sharing with you many more videos to come. Take care. Bye-bye.